It's amazing what happens when you do a little bit of fabrication to modify your lathe. So I still haven't made the cowling for the gearbox yet, but it suddenly occurred to me that this 100 tooth gear will bridge the 40 to 20. And it does. And what that does is, on the old nameplate here, I'll get it out of glare. So the lower gear, gear 3, 20 top gear, 80 intermediate gear, and 80 driven gear. And you can see the rest. I don't need to go through all that, do I? So clearly, if I reduce that bottom gear down to 20 from 40, we'll have 40 to 20. And we've got oh, one here. Let's get back again. 20 to 80, 40 to 80, 40 to 40, and then now I've got to make 40 to 20. So that's half in the half in it again. And if I look at gear one, gear one does 12 to 20. So if I half them, then I'm going to get 10, 8, and 6. So you can see the gear lever is set up in the 16, which will be 8. And here's the cheapo Indian rotary table worm screw with an 8 threads per inch or close to thread on it. I've just checked it, it is right. Let's have a look at it. I think the gearbox is engaged. Yeah. So that seems to be following it. Now what I need to do is match the threads. So I'm loosening off the compound which is set at an angle which is approximately 30 degrees. Now I can wind the compound in and wind the compound out. So I'd say we go in a little bit to get to the centre. We'll get a bit more light on the subject. You can see it. There we go. Any more? Any more for any more? Mm, typical. It's looking close. I think I need to go forwards and nuts. I'm coming a bit closer now. is a nut below. No, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's on centre. It is on centre height. Okay, so we can come back in again. Lock the lock nut up. Immense. So I just need to advance the compound a little bit because it was catching on the back. We have a winner, and it's already took a bit of burrage, horrible stuff off. So I'm going to set my zero at that. I will just simply now advance it a thousandth at a time until it's clear, cleaned. You can see this one's thicker than this one, and blah blah blah. I'm going to get a live centre in, and away we go. Live centre inserted. So, out from zero, wind it back by hand, I'm not doing any silly engagement and what have you, we're not going to do it on a power because that 20 tooth gear is ridiculously small and I don't want to risk breaking it. Go past the part, come back into zero, come back into zero, add on a thousandth, drop of cutting oil in there. There we go. 
Oh, not into zero. Oh, hundred thousands out. Two hundred thousands out. Now a zero. And there. Yeah. So the tool needs to go in at that angle there, doesn't it? Sort of being straight like it is, it needs to go in at a bit of an angle like that. Right. So we'll come back out again. Come back out again. Come in at a bit of an angle. Just eyeballing this, obviously. That looks good. Right there. Just a bit further, there we go. Come back a little bit. That looks good. So we'll zero back out at that. So that's adjusted me twenty thousandths just by giving me that angle. Out one turn. Come back in again. Didn't take long. Turn and the other thousands, and I think we've uh, got a problem again. So I have to do that work up good again. I think, I think, I think, I think. Set another zero.
take one more thousand by machine power. Just gives a more consistent feed, I think. Zero plus one. It all looks good. Massive on because it's going to start spitting chips at high speed everywhere, more than likely. And we will do that. Here we go. This is it. It's going to happen. And into gear. Otherwise, we're just going to. Because it's not in gear. Wheel on. Here we go. Is it in forwards? It is in forwards. <laughs> Oh yeah, a bit struggled to do that, but that'll do. How's that looking? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. In comparison to the snotty crap it was. Still my click there. I think it was just the angle I got it at. There. Right, there she be. So we're going to zoom in on there. Try and get some focus and whatever it needs. And here is the gear that it sits on. And there's the match. That ain't bad, is it? That ain't bad at all. That seems to be curving in beautifully. Look at that meeting at the end there. That last tooth, it just rolls on. <laughs> rolls on. <laughs> and slips off. So we'll start in the centre. I'm trying to line it up on the edges so you can see the exact gear. Because I can't get in the centre. You ain't going to see that. Look at it's glared. Right, so we're... Try and get the angle so you can see it again. So the bottom of the teeth could have flattened out a little bit. The root, I suppose you'd call it, the root of the tooth. But the side, the flanks, they seem to be in contact all the way down. And all the way up and all the way down. Oh yeah, that one at the end isn't. That's a misformed tooth, isn't it? But I mean, the, the teeth on this gear aren't 100%. I'll go around them. You will see some bodges. They're <laughs> all going to look perfect now, aren't they? <laughs> Someone's cleaned this gear up as well, haven't they? This gear was terrible. <laughs> Someone, someone's cleaned it up without me knowing they've swapped it Someone, someone's been in a swap there's a bit of a gnarly one there it's got a bear on it I think I've been running this up and down it a few times maybe that's just cleaned up all the rough edges So, extremely happy with that. <laughs> Not just that very happy, I'm extremely happy with that. That has turned out outstanding. Absolutely outstanding.
So, extremely happy with that. <laughs> Not just that very happy, I'm extremely happy with that. That has turned out outstanding.